The scam artist targeting seniors on the loose. Apparently, this criminal wanted in several states. Let's watch now as Claudia Gomez reports. She passes herself off as a bank employee. She's well-groomed, wears a suit, and knows how to charm little old ladies. In one case, the victim actually bought the suspect a drink because the suspect was hot. That ability to form a fast bond with her victim has made this woman possibly the most successful con artist now working in the Delaware Valley. Her haul so far, more than $100,000, all of it stolen from elderly white women. Probably doesn't have the nerve to attack somebody younger. They're easy marks or they're more trusting and because of that you know she's been successful and because she's been successful she's doing the same thing over and over and over again. Police believe the same woman is responsible for cons in five different towns in southern Jersey as well as in Bucks County, Montgomery County and northern Delaware. On Monday, she struck three times in parking lots around Wilmington as the victims walked out of stores. Two women didn't fall for it, but a third did, turning over $6,000. Scum of the earth uh, to do something like that, especially to the elderly. Police say last month the woman made off with $30,000 after conning a 73-year-old in this Bella Kinwood parking lot. In every case, the scam is similar. The woman finds a bag of cash, then walks over to her victim and offers to share the money. She tells the senior she can't keep the money all to herself because she works for a bank. But she won't turn over the cash until the victim puts up her own money as a show of good faith. Wrong deal. Her biggest haul so far, $60,000 stolen from an elderly woman she met outside this supermarket in Berlin Township, Camden County. When you're on a fixed income, you're trying to pay for medications, you're trying to pay your rent and, and just get by, that idea of having a little extra money in your pocket, I think, is hard to pass up for some of these folks. If, it's, if it sounds too good it, to be true, it usually is. She's absolutely right. And, of course, that was Claudia Gomez reporting. Again, police say this woman is not only convincing, she's smart. The only photos police have of her, the ones we just showed you, were taken by a bank surveillance camera in Bucks County three years ago. So if you know anything at all, please call police.